All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take this picture of Lindsay Lohan and make it look good and also look bad. So to open up the image, um, I already have one open. So I want you to have actually have three copies open. And if we go to Open uh, As, you can um, drop this down and go to Camera Raw. And that way, it's going to open the uh, photos in Camera Raw instead. And um, that way, um, we can use the Camera Raw program to do some adjustments. So we're going to start off by making this one look good. All right, so first thing is temperature. Um, I think it's a little warm. Um, you know, she could have that tan, that color, but I think it should be turned down just, just a slight bit, maybe three. You know, and it's kind of up to you to try it out. Um, next thing is, it looks like it's exposed correctly right now, but if we bump up the contrast, let's say I like high contrast myself, if I go to like 25, um, it seems like her temperature gets a little warmer in a way, so you can drop that down as well, um, maybe a little more, maybe six. Um, you know, go with whatever you think looks correct. Uh, highlights are, are, are the whites and part of their face and, and, and uh, background and hair. Um, I think it's pretty close to correct without doing anything, so I'm just going to leave that at zero. And you can also just highlight, you know, type in zero. Um, shadows, I, I would like to actually darken her shirt. We can mess with that later. Uh, I'm going to bump up the blacks a little bit, actually go down with them, all right? And you'll notice now that overall some parts seem kind of dark, so I could up my exposure just a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And I could go down with my shadows a little bit too. All right. And let's look at clarity. So if you zoom in on this photo, at 100%, you can see it's quite a bit of detail in this picture. And this is unsharpened um, as, far as, I'm, as far as I know. And you can see like a lot of spots, a lot of wrinkles, whatever else. So if we want to make this look good, I'm going to take the clarity and go down with it some. Okay. Now if you go all the way down, it just looks really bad. Um, going up makes it look horrible. But um, you know maybe I'd go down to like 10 or something like that. Um, vibrance, I don't know if you'd really want to mess with that. Considering that not much of a background, we'd only be messing with her her natural colors. Um, you could pump it up, but it's going to look look make her look too warm. I mean, you could sum and then turn your temperature down a little more. Then she's going to get some weird colors going on as well. So I'm going to leave that maybe, maybe I'll go up a little bit. Maybe 13 here. And then saturation, I won't mess with that. Let's also go to sharpening. So let's zoom in back to 100% here. And really what I want to do is I'm going to use the noise reduction to make some of this detail go away. If I bump that all the way up, you can kind of see it almost gives like a plasticky look. Um, this is probably a little too much. Um, I'm going to take it to the extreme so you can see a difference through the video, though. Um, luminance detail too. You can drop it down. I mean, I mean, look at that. That is like super Barbie, <laughs> like way unrealistic. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to keep the luminance detail up somewhat. Okay. Here, bring it up to to around 40 and turn my luminance at like 70. Now that's really high. But again. It's for the video, so you can see a difference. You can you can do whatever you would like, though. Uh, luminous contrast. Um, just gonna leave that down. Okay, great. And then sharpening. You could sharpen it some, but then you're getting some of those wrinkles back too. So if you do sharpen, don't go too much. Uh, just a little bit's fine. Trying to get some of the detail back. All right. And instead of hitting done, that would just close the image. I'm gonna do open image. And you can see the difference already. So here's the original. And here's this one. So a little bit smooth, a little bit brighter, a little more contrast. All right, I'm going to do Control Plus here to kind of zoom in. Now let's take care of some of these details that didn't come out um, that we won't want there. So looking at it at 100%, you can do Control Plus or Minus to zoom in and out. I'm going to use this little Band-Aid tool, Spot Healing. And right now it's on Content Aware. And so I'm going to kind of just run along this line right here, and you let go. And it does a pretty good job. If if you kind of notice a line, you can kind of play with it. Like you could also pick, pick proximity match, and basically it tries to grab something close by, and then. But see, you can actually see it's it's probably grabbing something nearby. So I don't like that one as much. I'm gonna go back set to content aware, and basically you're you're training the program to to find the areas you want changed. You can see some pretty obvious stuff, like here's a little line, there's a little dot right there. You can go through and just get rid of those things that look just look a little unnatural. 
uh, the noticeable defects, or not necessarily defects, but just details. Um, you can see a little pimple on her neck and stuff like that. Um, even on her mouth, you know, you can take care of those little dots. I know she has freckles, so maybe I'm taking it a bit, a bit extreme. But, uh, eh, maybe I should have left that. Oh well, control Z to undo. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. And we could do some, oop, it's thinking right now. I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> alright, and, alright, that's looking alright. So I would go down then and check to see what her hair is doing. Now, you could spend a lot of time, you know, fixing hair. And we're just going to go down here. I'm just going to do the obvious stuff that you can see. Um, you know, these stray hairs that are on her shirt, you could go through and also get as well. So I'm just going to kind of go through and take care of some of this hair. And you can get it, take care of as much as you want as well. Um, these little white dots. All right, that's looking a little better. Um, I I don't like that her shirt it gets lighter. Um, I know it's just the camera flash, but you can kind of see it's light in this area, and I I don't really like that myself. You know, one thing you can do is I'm going to grab the selection tool. It's right here. Um, there we go. And I'm gonna it's right now it's on a basically a smart. It's like a content aware. Um, selection tool and you can kind of just grab an area and it'll actually select the uh, black pretty well and I don't need all of it but I can go in there and get some of these areas and let's say I, I got her neck by accident too I got up in there oops my mistake then I can do an alt and it turns into this little minus sign and I can get rid of some of this as well and it works pretty darn well it's it's much better than than other previous versions of Photoshop so once this is selected what I can do is uh, there's these levels, brightness and contrast, hue and saturation, and all these other ones. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to exposure. Nah. Let's go to levels. And what I can do is I can actually drop all of this down some. And that way it's just turning her black shirt to, to actually being black. You can't go too far because it really gets into her hair. It wasn't the best selection ever. But I can go down enough that, you know, I'm, I'm making her black shirt black. And that's, that's what I wanted to do. And you'll see this little adjustment layer is now on the background, and that's that's what I want. So if that seems a little unnatural, I can go back and I can just double-click on that. Um, oops, not that part, but on the histogram part itself. And I could back off a little bit, you know, just so it does preserve some detail. Um, I could also keep that black to the left a little more, and I just take that white out instead. Just I'll leave a little bit in there so you can kind of tell. All right, great. All right, what else can we do? All right, one thing we could do is maybe color her hair a little bit. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. And let's say, I don't know, she's got some sort of commercial coming up for dyed hair. I'm going to grab this brush right here. And I'm going to go to uh, color. All right, and I can choose whatever color. I'm going to grab a cool pink color. <laughs> and uh, you can adjust the size of the brush by, oop, see, it's not letting me use it right now because I'm clicked on that layer, levels layer right here still, so I'm going to click on the background. And what I can do is I can just start brushing in whatever color, and I could, you know, go, um, I can make my brush a little bit smaller. It's, you hit the little brackets on your keyboard and kind of color that into. That's a really sloppy job. Um, I'm not going to be too picky about it for this for this video though but this is just coloring basically it keeps the detail it just changes the uh, hue and saturation of an object so I could go along like that and I could change the size of my brushes and maybe that's a little too strong you know I could have picked the opacity I could have dropped it down maybe a little more um, so let's do that with our blues all right so my blues only at 33 percent so you can definitely see a difference there. You know, it's more subtle, a little more realistic. I can just kind of color this area in here too. And maybe follow a few of these locks. Um, it's almost too light. I guess if I were to do it again, maybe I'd go a little higher. But again, it's just for the video. Alright. 
I'm gonna make it complete. Maybe I should have some blue up here in her hair. You know, I'll bump it up to like 50. Use this area right here. All right. I'm not saying this is perfect, but you get the idea. Okay. Um. So again, back to the original and this one. All right. And um. Yeah. All right. Uh, one other thing is, if we kind of zoom in here, you'll see there's quite a bit of um of details that maybe you want to see in the cheek and I've taken some of them out already but the way you do that is if you use this blur tool, it's a little dropper tool right here, you hold it down and uh, you can use smudge as well but I'm going to use the blur tool and what you can do is you can go around around the eyes and, and different areas and uh, basically just kind of smudge it if there's if there's little details that you don't want to see on the cheek and whatever else you can just kind of go over it and it takes out those little divots and imperfections um, it's a way of just kind of smoothing out the skin, so if that's something you want to do, go for that too. Alright, but it, she's pretty much done. Um, you know, if I wanted to, is I, I could go back to like a, a brightness and contrast thing. You know, if you want to mess with the contrast, like have it even pumped up even a little higher. Uh, mess with the brightness a little bit. Um, that looks, you know, this is really fake looking at this point. You know, I'm going to the extreme, like I said before, if you compare it to the original though. You know, this is something you'd probably see in a magazine cover compared to this. All right, so uh, let's do this one more time now, and we're going to make her look bad. So this will be quicker. All right, so I'm going to do now open, and I'm going to open up that original again. It's going to open up camera raw. Now, right now we're going to do the opposite. Here's here's all the settings that we just had before. Uh, I'm going to kind of go the opposite in this case. So, I'll, um, you know, the contrast can be the same, exposure be the same, whatever. But, uh, you know, clarity. Let's go the other direction, all right? So if you kind of zoom in on her face here, you can see what that's doing already. Um, you're probably not seeing much difference. First, let's go back to sharpening and detail. Let's bring that noise reduction all the way to zero again. You can see it's you can see all those details down there again. Sharpening, you know, we can over sharpen. I, I won't mess with that as much. Just get rid of the noise. Then go back to uh, your custom, or I'm sorry, your uh, basics here and. Um, you know, maybe you want to make her like especially cold. You know, you could turn that down even a little bit more with the temperature. Um, and then clarity, you want to bump that up. All right, I'm going to go to 100%. Well, it's almost unrealistic. Though. I'll go like 50, 50 or so. Bring my vibrance down. All right, this is looking pretty good for what I want. Um, you know, you could bring exposure down a little bit. Just make it look like a darker picture in general. Um, you could overexpose the highlights even. All right, open image. All right, so already she's not looking the same as the original. You know, a little bit colder looking, a little bit darker, I guess you'd say. And what we could do is, um, first off, let's give her a black eye. So I'm going to grab <laughs> uh, my burn tool here. Where are we at? So I can grab that brush. No, not the brush, sorry. Uh, it's this one down here. It's the burn tools. It's like this little hand, and you want to choose a color. And I'm going to grab like a really dark blue, eh, maybe not too dark though. And right now it's my exposure set at 50%. Uh, let's just go to 40. See what that looks like first. And you can kind of see, you can kind of paint in a darker area. Uh, might might need to be a little bit bluer. And uh, let's go 60% instead. You can kind of just get her a little shiner there, you know, something like that. Now, if, if you don't like how it looks, um, another way to use the burn tool, or you can just use a brush here, bring down your color mode, your mode, and just go to burn. Um, color burn right there as well. And I'm going to give almost like a purplish look here. Oh, too much, too much. So, again, to make it look right, it takes a little bit of work, but you can use the brush instead. That works out pretty good. Maybe I'll go a little bit bigger and uh, just kind of give her a little black eye like that. If you turn up the burn tool too high, I'll show you what that does. You know, maybe I'll make this it'll basically just blacken it almost completely. Um, let's say I use. Um, Let's say I actually go black with that color. Um, 
you can see it just it's too dark. Um, so let's just go 50% with black. Kind of go on the edge of your cheek here. It almost looks like it's a burn or something like that. Um, you know, if you go real small, I guess you could say like a little cigarette burn on her cheek or something like that. Um, or you know what that looks like more like? I'm thinking it looks more like a, a bloody nose or something. I'm going to kind of go down to her lips there. There we go. She's got a bad fight there. All right, cool. Um, and then I could put on here, uh, um, go to levels or brightness and contrast and turn the contrast up even a little bit more and turn the brightness down. All right. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about all I want to do with her there. Um, so we have the original, okay? And then we have one that's more of a magazine look. And then we got the rough, rough night on a town, on the town. So, um, you know, you could save all three of these, put them next to each other. That's what I would do and kind of show your friends the, the difference. But uh, you can see how Photoshop can really make you look different with not too much work. So, all right, good luck.